What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and welcome back to part two in a series all about Artboard Studio. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a powerful feature inside of Artboard Studio called Branding Components. It gives you the ability to upload all of your assets and colors and typography that pertain to a specific brand that you're working on and then use those branding components and apply them to multiple mockups with one click of a button. So if I have 20 or 30 or 40 mockups that all pertain to a brand and then later on down the road, I re brand and the main color changes, I'm going to change it once here and it's going to update everywhere there. Pretty sweet. All right, let's dive right into Artboard Studio and check out branding components. You can see on my screen, I have Artboard Studio open in my browser. That's right, if you forgot, it is a browser-based tool, which is awesome. And I'm on my dashboard and I can see my recent projects. On the left-hand side, we can see our branding components. And you can see I currently have some branding components set up for me, for my own personal brand. This is files, like logos that are pertinent to my brand, colors, fonts, different brand templates and brand items for my brand. But we wanna create some new branding components. Let's create an entirely new brand. I have a brand that I'm working with called Cardboard Nerd, and they are kind of like a board game, iOS and Android application. Now that we've created our brand, you can see we have a dedicated workspace for that brand and all of its components. The first thing we probably wanna do is upload some assets like some logos. And so I'm gonna upload a logo from my desktop and it's gonna load up right into our personalized workspace. Now you can see that my avatar has been updated and I now have an asset to work with. I might as well load up another version of our logo simply by dragging it to the add new button or you can also press add new and then search your computer for the elements that you're looking for. What's really cool about this is that if later on we change what this logo is, we can simply drag a new version of the logo and drop it right on top and it's gonna update that component right here and in every single mock-up or project that you've utilized that component, which is really, really cool. So let's go back and just replace it one more time by dragging our previous logo back into its place. And now we have some logos. We can add some assets, things that pertain to our brand as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and then go into working files and grab a bunch of these assets. Like here's a loading screen that I might wanna bring in and we can just upload more and more and more of these. Next thing we're gonna do is click over to the colors tab and we're gonna add some color. So let's add our very first color. Now that I've added my first color, I wanna edit it by clicking on the color swatch and just dropping in the hex for my actual color. I can also add another color so we have lots of different colors to work with. I'm just gonna add that in right there. So now we have our main colors for our, our brand, okay? Let's move over to fonts. Uh, we can edit this font and choose any fonts that pertain to uh, this specific one. I believe we used Roboto for this one, so we're gonna click right there and search for Roboto and add that right in. We can also select the color for the text and I know that we have kind of like an off black that we're using and so that can be the start. Let's uh, also change the weight to it and then we can maybe change the font size. So let's change this up to 48 and this could be our headline. So let's save changes there. Now we have our heading. Let's do a subheading. So now we've updated our heading and subheadings and our paragraph, and we can add even more fonts in here if we want to. The next thing we can do is click on brand items, and this allows us to add items from the repository of mockup elements that we have that we might be using over and over. You can select from any of the categories on the left, or you can just search. Maybe we would search for something like a phone. We're definitely gonna use something like that. Oh, I like all of these mock-ups. I'm just gonna put a bunch of these in there and maybe even a handheld one like that. And so now you can see we have these elements that are available to us like at all times and we don't have to constantly go out hunting for those new elements once we start creating stuff. Okay, now that we have all of our branding components set in place for this brand, let's go create a new mock-up starting with a template. All right, now that we have our template selected, I just wanted to show you quickly how branding components work inside of your actual mock-up. I'm gonna go ahead and select the phone that has the design inside of it that I wanna manipulate, and I'm gonna double click on it to open up all the assets that are available to me for editing. I'm gonna head over to the left-hand tab and hit branding components, go into cardboard nerd, and now I have assets that are available to me. There's all my files, my colors, 
my fonts and any of the templates or elements that I've used. Let's say we wanted to add one of our UI designs, one of these screens that we've uploaded into our brand components. We simply click on it and it's immediately added over into our mockup. I can stretch this out to make sure it fits the size of the actual screen here. Just reposition it and then when we head back over to our main design, you can see it's been embedded right there. Really, really sweet. I'm gonna do the same with the other design by simply opening it up, selecting one of my screens and clicking on it. It's been added to my mockup. I'm gonna drag this down and just make sure that this fills up the screen as it needs to. Drag that up and go back and now my design is complete. But maybe we want to customize this a little bit and change it up. We can go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a shape into my scene by grabbing one of these circles from the shape menu. I'm going to select the shape and I'm going to turn off the border. Once we've turned off the border, I'm going to head over to my fill color and my inspector panel right there. And I want to make sure that this circle is the exact same blue represented by the brand. Well, I could use my color picker or I could drop down to where it says default colors. I could hit cardboard nerd and now I have my brand colors available to me. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to stretch this circle out. I'm going to make sure that I bring it to the very back and maybe just add it in like that off to one side. That looks pretty good to me. Now let's say we wanted to watermark this image by adding one of our logos. I can head back over to my branding components and I can click on my logo and it pops up right there on the screen. I'm going to resize that logo and I'm just going to move it down to the bottom right hand corner. Looking pretty good so far, right? Now that I finished my design, I love it. I wanna make sure this is added to my brand. So I'm gonna open my branding components back up, head over to brand templates, and I'm gonna click plus. Now this template will be available to me at all times. I can recreate this same mock-up over and over and over, and it's always gonna be associated with my brand. I can head back out to my desktop and see it here, and I can head back over to my cardboard nerd branding components, and I can see my brand template working right there. Now, let's say later on this brand changes. No longer is it using these colors or this logo. I'm gonna head back over to my files and I'm gonna re-upload the previous logo that we talked about by dragging it in from the desktop and replacing it right there. Now that we've uploaded this logo, anywhere that old blue one was used is gonna be replaced with this new gradiated warm version. There's a pink that's used in this gradient that I wanna make sure is also part of my colors. So I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna replace the blue with my new gradient pink color. Now it seems like not too much has changed, but if I head back up to my recent projects and open up the previous mockup that I created, I'm gonna be prompted that some changes have been made and I wanna update the assets in question. When I do that, we're going to see the color changes and also the logo changes down here. If we had screens that were updated, those would be changed as well. What's awesome about this is we can upload as many different brand components and assets and typography and images and items that we want to use for this specific brand from here on out. Last but not least, we can give access to these branding components to anybody that's on my team and has access to that team or its folders. To do that, we're going to head into our current team. We're going to add a new folder and create a new folder here. We'll call this Cardboard Nerd. Now you can see we have new folders in our left-hand menu here and also here. We can head back to our recent projects and we can take this scene and we can add it to a folder. Let's just go ahead and add it to Cardboard Nerd. Then we can head back to our Teams page. We can give access to that folder and we can also give access to the branding components of Cardboard Nerd. And last but not least, we can invite different team members onto our team so they have access to both the team folder and the branding components. And we could do that by simply inviting a new member, typing in their email, finding them from the drop down and inviting that member. Now, as soon as they accept their invitation, they'll be included on all of these folders, assets, and branding components. Well, that's it. Those are brand components inside of Artboard Studio. Absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development, and there's going to be more videos in this series about Artboard Studio coming soon, so stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and check the description for links to Artboard Studio so you can try brand components out for yourself. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and making your life easier by working smarter, not harder. I'll see you in the next one.